Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs Babyface. Now a lot of people have been requesting since I did the first Iron Man video an update and I've been literally hounded the last few days. Hounded, maybe a slight exaggeration, but I've definitely had quite a few queries from people and when I've been putting out different content in the comments for that, they've been saying, where's the Iron Man? Where's the Iron Man? So okay, we're going to get an update on the Iron Man situation and it's something I would love to stream, but it's something sadly I am unable to stream. And the reason why I'm unable to stream it is due to the stringent nature of the prerequisites required to do the Iron Man. You know, you're not allowed outside assistance, you're not allowed to receive outside buffs, etc, etc. Um, I would imagine some people with good intentions, some people with not so good intentions, would interfere. Sadly, it's just the case, it's just the case, would uh, attempt to interfere with the levelling up process either to help or to hinder me and that would actually uh, nullify what I'm attempting to do here with the Iron Man. If you don't know what the Iron Man challenge is, uh, watch the first video. I go through very thoroughly um, the terms and conditions, <laughs> we'll call them the terms and conditions, on what I actually should be doing. And one thing that I was very happy with when I read the comments from the first Iron Man video was, although I've got great support, do not get me wrong here, I've got some great support from you guys. Uh, because I said in the video, I said, um, what level do you think I'll reach before I fail? Um, you know, or do you think I'll actually do it? It'd be interesting to hear. And I was, I was more than happy to see that a lot of people were realistic about how difficult uh, the Iron Man challenge actually is. Um, so instead of just, you know, not sycophants, that was a bit cruel, but instead of just a lot of en enthusiastic people again just saying, oh, you'll do it, you'll do it, you'll do it, you'll do it, you'll do it. Um, a lot of people, um, were sort of like, well, you know, I actually think you'll probably get to around level 40, you know, and stuff like that. And there were, there were people that were legitimately giving out some, um, decent levels of when they think that I would potentially, uh, fall, fall down. We'll say fall down. Yeah. Uh, some people were not so optimistic at all. <laughs> there were some people that thought I wouldn't even reach level 10. Well, this is a level 5 to level 10 video, so I've definitely got to level 10. I will tell you that for now, and you'll see that at the end of the vid. Um, but I was personally, because, I mean, I'm relatively confident, not hopefully not cocky, don't get khaki, kid. But I'm relatively confident with my own abilities as a warlock um, to think that I stand a decent chance of progressing far. I, I'm not saying one way or another yet whether or not I believe I can actually do this because um, I do think there are going to be some, some hefty challenges ahead of me. Uh, I certainly believe the transition from vanilla through to the Burning Crusade is going to be a hell of an eye-opener. Bearing in mind, of course, I cannot take advantage of any of the green, blue, epic, legendary, bind-on-account items whatsoever. So, suddenly, when everything else leaps up in HPs and damage levels and such and so forth, as I'm just about to tackle Bane... Yeah, I took a risk here. Level 8. Uh, rare. Rarely. Whatever. Um, and I'm level 6. And I don't have a tank pet yet, but I thought I'll have a crack. But look at the XP I get from killing it. Boom. 1,238. That's a Laura Lover. And it dropped a bag. Which, a, a gold dust. Absolutely priceless. And it's something that I um, actually ended up doing again. Because when I looked at the top of this Scarlet Monastery Tower, I saw another rare relief flying around and I thought, well, you know, I killed Bane, who was two levels above me with relative ease. Um, I'll have another crack at this one because it's going to give me some good EXP. As I have a little look to make sure I know exactly where I am. But yeah, going back to what I was saying before... Um, the leap from vanilla through to Burning Crusade, when everything else is going up in HP levels and damage levels and such and so forth, um, is going to be quite dramatic. There you see, there's the other rare elite, just flying around. Cheeky, cheeky. 
Um, it's going to be quite dramatic, and yet I can't take advantage of that transition. Because I can't take a weapon that has spell power on, a green weapon, even a green that has spell power on. I am using non-stat based items, grey or white. And uh, that's going to be really, really difficult. So should I even have the fortunate nature to go through the 10 levels of the Burning Crusade from uh, 60 up to 70, then we've got another big problem, which of course is the transition from the Burning Crusade to Wrath of the Lich King, where again everything exponentially increases in HPs and damages, but I will not be able to take advantage of that. And even then, should I <laughs> have the luck of the gods by the nine uh, to get through all of that, uh, we've got Cataclysm, which is 80 to 85, and that's the home stretch to, to go through once more greys and whites. So it's a very, very difficult process, this, and, and one that I... I desperately desperately want to give my best shot i would be gutted if i failed at around level 20 level 30 something like that I, i'd be pretty gutted about that i at least the very least as i'm taking on bone chewer nom, 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 um the very least i'd like to do is is make the transition through to the burning crusade that is the very least and i'm going to be relying heavily and i mean heavily on my tank pet that's going to be probably what's going to carry me through a lot of difficult times. Lillian Voss, everybody. Remember I spoke about Lillian? A lot of difficult times, a lot of difficult fights. So again, I'm going to pose the question to you realistically, and I thank everyone that just said, you'll do it! Uh, realistically, and you have seen what I can do. You have seen some, some pretty decent uh, soloing. And some pretty decent uh, problem solving when it comes to problematic mobs and bosses like Canrathad and such with my Warlock. Realistically though, I'd like to, to, to reopen that. When do you think or how far do you think I will progress in this process? Because let's face it, if I failed within the first 10 levels, I, I really couldn't... Um, call myself much of a lock now could i <laughs> but it was interesting to see how many people actually thought i would again i don't know if they were legitimate I, I, I genuinely do not know if those people were being illegitimate or whether or not they were just you know not trying to troll me because it's not a troll but just trying to uh have a you know have a, a laugh at my expense or just trying to rib me or whatever but there we go so so far um i've been hanging around brill i know it makes me sound a little bit kind of either stalkery or <laughs> serial killery something like that but i've been hovering around brill doing my quests uh there i i i so glad that i rolled the undead as well as uh rolling a warlock i mean rolling a warlock by the random dice was the best thing that i could have possibly have hoped for and and this is actually what made me do the iron man challenge i mean if i'd if i'd just rolled a chamois you know if, if the number had come up and it was a chamois um i don't know whether i probably would have laughed off the iron man challenge and just not done it or something but there was just something about the fact that when i thought should i try the iron man and then i i did the random dice and i had signed uh warlock to number six i think it was and it came up there was just something then which said to me well you know maybe this is Maybe this, the gods of WoW or the gods of gaming or whatever you want to call them, maybe they are just teasing me to have a legitimate go at, at, at this thing. So, well, there you go. So, we've had um, a wee look. I'm level 9 currently on the video. I'm just about to, and I think I'm just doing level 10 now. Yeah, you can see level 10. But I, I had a few questions about people as regards to a couple of matters. So, I'll quickly address them. Number one. Can you do pet battles? I haven't done pet battles. And I haven't seen anything that says I'm allowed to do pet battles. So currently, I've steered clear of them. If anybody has any information on whether or not you can participate in pet battles, um, please do post in the comments. And also, can you private message me um, direct link details to 
uh, where it says you can. But uh, until I get something in set in stone, I will not do that. And um, secondly, some people have said, oh, you can choose a specialization. I have not found a single solitary thing which has said you can choose a spec. So once more, though on level 10, I have not chosen any specialization. I'm just using my class base spells which have been awarded to me. And of course, not using my specialization points because they're an absolute no-no. Anyway, so this is my gear. For anybody that is interested in seeing what I am currently rocking, yeah, not massively impressive, is it? But it has got me through to level 10 with no deaths and uh, I'd say relative ease. Relative ease so far, but you know. There's a long, long, long way to go. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please do like, comment and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook and also twitch.tv forward slash heel versus babyface for live streaming. You'll get more progress reports on my Iron Man as well as my Arkham Origins Let's Play. You take care everybody. Bye bye.